Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a full face of new makeup. This isn't really a full face of first impressions because some of the products are just new products on the market, like hot new products that I really want to talk about and tell you guys my thoughts on. But I do have a lot of products in here that are gonna be my first impression. So we got a good little range in here. We got the Desi Katie Dose of Colors. Ah! Collaboration. We got Angels, Mac Daddy, Artist Couture, <laughs> all the names in the world's new highlighting powders. We got a lot of good stuff in this video, so stay tuned, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and let's get started with this makeup look. We're trying out two different primers today, but just because I'm intrigued, okay? And I kinda wanna try out both. So the first is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum, and then I also wanted to try the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Matte Primer. I actually always go in with two primers, one one is normally an oil primer, and then the other is more of like a pore filling primer. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX primer, the mattifying one, in the T-zone, and then this guy all over the rest of the face. Oh, it's like a, a moisturizer. Well, it looks like a moisturizer. Boom. Wow, it really sunk in quickly. Okay, very silky feeling. And I did read on the packaging that you can use this with or without makeup. So it's supposed to give you like a blurred effect whether you're wearing makeup or not. And then we're gonna go in with the NYX. Oh, <laughs> there's a little thing. So we're gonna go in with this guy right, oh, oh, oh. This is like a silicone -y primer. I actually don't love these types of primers normally, but we'll try it out. I did honestly really like the foundation, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Holy, this feels like glue. Ew. Maybe I got a bad one. Like, maybe this is expired. I really don't think it's supposed to be doing this. Like, see how it's like bubbling up? For brows, pretty much the hottest new brow product on the market right now is this Benefit Brow Contour Pro. So this product is cool because there are four different shades in here. So you get a lighter brow shade right there. Then you get a deeper brow shade. So that one's a lot darker. Then you also get the definer, which is probably my most loved product out of this bunch because you can use it to really highlight and clean up the brows. And then you also get a highlighter. So this one has a bit more of a lighter tone to it and a bit more luminosity. So you do get four products in here, which I think is cool and very different than like other products I've seen on the market. But I will say that I personally mostly use this for the definer and the highlighter portion. So for the purpose of this video, I am gonna use the actual brow shades for this look, just because it is kind of like the newest brow product on the market that I know of at least. If you know of any others, comment down below because I really haven't heard of any other new brow products coming out. I have to press really, really lightly with this product. The crayon itself is a lot thicker than what I'm used to using. I usually use like the skinnier kind of pencils like Brow Wiz or Precisely My Brow, something with like a skinny, 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 precise tip. But this one's like thicker, so you have to take it with a really light hand. The undertone does work really well for my eyebrows. Like it looks, looks oof. Nash Snatch over here. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the definer. I just think it's so innovative. Look at this, you can really just kinda boom, and you're defined. Benefit, you done did good on that, cause I've never really seen another, you know, defining sort of pencil that's this precise, and that is what makes it so easy to use. And then I just go in with a little flat eyebrow brush and blend that line out, and it just leaves me with the most precise, clean brow shape with minimal effort. Brows are done. I'm gonna try out this new Laura Geller foundation. I brought a couple of shades just cause I don't, obviously I don't know which exact shade I'm gonna be, but this is the Laura Geller Filter First Luminous Foundation. I brought the shades Caramel, Fawn, and then Golden Medium. I feel that Caramel is probably gonna be my match, but we'll try it out. I'll make, I'll make a decision. You know what the really exciting part about this video is gonna be? This, I'm trying this out for the first time. This is like one of those like mechanical makeup brushes. This one is from Clarisonic. I think I might do like half of the face with this guy and then half of the face with my beauty blender and just see like which one, which one's better. Ugh, I'm like kind of scared, but. Oh God. <laughs> okay, this foundation shade was not correct, you guys. Okay, we're just gonna try to wipe that off really lightly so I don't remove too much of the, the primer. I'm gonna try Fawn because Golden Medium looks a little pink. Round two. Foundation seems very liquidy. 
<laughs> I will say that it feels nice. Like it almost feels like you're cleansing your face, but instead you're applying a layer foundation. Okay, it's not too bad actually. Should I try the in between the eyebrows? Ooh. This, this. Ah. Ooh, yes. Down the neck, it actually feels so nice, you guys. Honestly, better than I expected thus far. Like it created a pretty smooth layer. Most of the foundation brushes that I use are a lot more dense than these bristles are actually. So I thought I was gonna leave those like kind of lines in the foundation, but it did not. Although the true test of this little machine is gonna be how it compares to your normal tool of choice, you know? Honestly, they kind of apply the same, not gonna lie. Like the foundation looks pretty similar on both sides besides the color, cause obviously I had a little bit of the darker foundation left inside the bristles. Not bad Clarisonic and it felt really nice on the skin. It almost feels like a little bit more of a luxurious application if that makes sense, because it does kind of feel like you're massaging your skin rather than just, you know, the normal kind of like pouncing motion. So this is, to be completely honest, not something that like I would normally reach for, but I kind of just wanted to try it out for the video since I've never tried something like this and I know this is a new device. So I'm kind of pleasantly surprised actually. Now the foundation itself definitely has a luminous finish. Um, I think we have to see how other makeup sits on top of it, but luminous finish for sure. And I feel like it did cover enough. I wouldn't call this a full coverage foundation, to be honest. I would say probably medium. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, apply some concealer onto my eyes. I'm gonna get to this concealer later because I'm so freaking excited to try it out underneath my eyes. This is the new MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I know you guys probably know this by now, but I love MAC face products. The Studio Fix foundation is actually one of my favorite foundations in the entire world. And when I heard that they were coming out with a concealer, I was so, so, so excited because I just, mm, like the Studio Fix foundation is so nice and full coverage and it looks amazing in photos. So I have very high hopes for this. Right now I'm just gonna actually apply a little bit to my eyelids to prime them. And I'm just gonna set that down with some translucent powder. We're gonna move into eyes now. So this is the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Frankation Palette. It is real beautiful, you guys. Honestly, the metallics are crazy pigmented. Honestly, Dose of Colors and the me. Wow, I said honestly six times in the last two seconds, but it's fine. Dose of Colors shadows are bomb already, but it's insane. <laughs> like, what is that? It looks like a cream shadow. <gasps> I just dug my finger into one of the shadows so freaking hard. This is the shade Just a Kiss. I feel like Just a Kiss is definitely more chunky than the other shades in the palette, than even the other metallics, because most of the metallics are very, very buttery smooth. Like you barely have to press and you get a full wash of pigment. Just wait till you see the mattes. That's just some of the shades without like any kind of primer or obviously like foundation or anything on my hand. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Necessary right here in the crease. Then I'm gonna build that up with the shade Cheens. Honestly, the Doe's party was so fun. It was last night, actually, the night before I'm filming this. Everybody had good vibes. It was just like such a fun night. And I'm also gonna pop on just a little bit of that, this really nice rosy shade right here. This one, it's called Girl Bye. We're just gonna pop that right on top just to kind of like blend out this dark brown. This stuff has been lifesaver. The Cinema Secrets brush cleaner that I told you about. I've been like keeping it on hand because it really does help when you're blending out shadows to have clean tools to work with. For the lid, I was actually planning to use the shade A Moment. It's so pretty, you guys. But all of a sudden, because it just, it got really smoky really quickly. So I think I might go in with this shade, Dirty Money. They came up with the perfect name, honestly, because it really is like that perfect balance between gold and green. I'm gonna pop that on with a Sigma E55. And this is from the um, Passionately Pink brush set. So I'm gonna take that and go right onto the lid with it. Then you wanna take your blending shade and just blend out the edges. I almost want these tones to mesh together. I don't want this to look like a cut crease. So I'm gonna go in and really make sure to blend out these edges. All right, now I'm gonna try this cushion eyeliner from Essence Cosmetics. This is actually a really affordable brand. I'm kind of scared to use this actually because it has this kind of like sponge 
but we will see. I'm just gonna use this right on this outer corner. I'm not creating a wing, I just want something that's going to help blend the lashes down to the lash line. Honestly, I don't really know how to feel about this because it dries really, really quickly. Like pretty much as soon as I dip my brush in <laughs> and start to apply, it's already, it's already kind of dry. But moving on to lashes, I'm gonna be using this little pair from 23 Lash. This is actually my friend's lash company, but I'm gonna try them out with this eye look. I think these are the style Crystal. I'll have it listed down below though, just in case. <laughs> I usually like to cut my lashes, so I cut off probably about the end to little like bunches of lashes is what I normally cut off of any lash. So I'm just gonna put my glue on the lashes and wait for that to dry for a little bit while we go ahead and apply mascara. And for mascara, I'm gonna be using the NARS Climax Mascara. Honestly, this is the hot new mascara. Like, it is really, really good when you're not wearing falsies. It just gives you a lot of volume, a lot of length. The wand is so nice and fluffy. Like, just has all these little divots in there that really latch onto the lashes and can give you that extensive volume. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on those lashes and we are pretty much done with the eyes. And now it is time for concealer. So I'm gonna use the shade NC35 underneath the eyes. I'm hoping that this is gonna be like a really full coverage concealer. I have been noticing that my under eye circles and wrinkles are starting to live a lot more <laughs> than they used to. So I've been relying on like full coverage concealers to help me conceal them. It's blending out really nicely. And I think this is the perfect shade for me. I'm gonna go in with a second layer now. Okay, good coverage. Okay, this is another product that I'm really excited to try in this video. So this is the Catrice Light Illusion Loose Powder. You guys know I'm always on the hunt for good translucent powders from the drugstore. I just feel like that's like one area where a drugstore is kind of lacking. But I like the look of this one because it's yellow and it's supposed to be brightening under the eyes. We're gonna use this to bake all over the face, underneath the eyes, down the T-zone, get everything nice and brightened. While we let the baking powder sit, I'm gonna go in and contour. So MAC actually also released the Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palettes. This one is the light to medium shade. This guy is the medium to deep shade. So let me hold them up side by side. But yeah, that is the shade range that you're gonna get. So you do get some like brightening, highlighting shades on the top and then the sculpting shades on the bottom. I think I'm probably gonna do light medium today and go ahead and try to contour some cheekbones. Ooh, yes, honey. I'm actually mixing together these two down here. I feel like the foundation wasn't full coverage enough, honestly, because even some like old scars are showing through. And then I think I'm gonna blend that contour out with this uh, new duo from Too Faced. So this is the Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer Highlighting Duo. Actually, they're both shimmer shades. This is definitely more of a actual highlight. Yeah, that's a, that's a highlight for you. And this is kind of like a shimmery bronze shade. So I'm pretty much only gonna be dipping into the bronze shade and just blending that contour out. Luckily, because we've already put down a matte contour, you know, we can add that illumination without worrying about having a matte bronzer. Oh yes, look at that shade. Wow, the undertones of the makeup that I brought is really working to my benefit here. A lot of times I actually really like um, shimmery bronzers or kind of like luminous bronzers because you start to create the highlight and then once you go in with your actual highlighter, it can really, really create like a glowy complexion. We're gonna go ahead and wipe away the bakage, but I'm also gonna be dipping into this. Now I am so freaking excited for this. This is the Tutti Frutti It's Bananas Brightening Setting Powder. And if you guys didn't know, me and Yes were obsessed with the Candy Johnson banana like color correcting under eye powder. So fingers crossed this is similar because that stuff was bomb. Like honestly, it could really color correct while wow, I'm getting real hype right now, but it could really color correct the color underneath your eyes. Like, I've never seen anything like that. It was limited edition and we were very sad to find that out. But this one looks a little bit different. So it has these cute bananas on it. It's really cute packaging. Mmm, smells good. So I'm gonna take that and use it to wipe away the baking powder. And when you do this, you're leaving your skin with 
a slight yellow brightened undertone. Honestly, the only thing that I'm like not in love with is this foundation. I had high hopes, but it's not doing what I need it to do here. It's kind of like fading away every time I add something else on top of it. It's like almost like blending itself away, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird. I've never really worked with a product like that, but I'm gonna try to go in with a powder foundation. This is Mac Studio Fix. This is just a normal product that I use like on an everyday basis and try to cover up some of this foundation. This is a really, really full coverage powder. So sometimes it can actually correct foundations that are wearing off. Oh, we are real bright, <laughs> real bright. This is like Kim K status brightened under eyes. Kim K circa like 2010. Should we go to highlighter? Should we? I brought, boom, this entire uh, PR kit from Mac Daddy. Ah! Artist Couture. This is the new Diamond Luxe Luminizer. And I think I'm gonna try out Glow Money. It's such a pretty gold shade. Let me show you all the shades. Ah! Let me show you all the shades just so you could see them together, but I think that's the one I'm gonna go with today. Ooh, Honey Drip is also pretty. Honey Drip, 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 Drip. This one is Hot Damn. Really nice champagne -y shade. We have Sexpose. These are the lighter shades in the collection, actually. This one has a bit of a rose gold undertone, I would say. Then Glow Money. That's the one that I'm gonna be trying out today. And then we've got Honey Drip. I love the name of this, because if you don't know, I'm obsessed with anything honey, and that is Honey Drip. That is a gorgeous bronzy highlighter, and the formulas seem very silky smooth. Ooh. This is so beautiful. At Mac Daddy's launch event for these, he was basically explaining that these are really pretty for like kind of that effervescent glow, but if you really want to amp it up and get like mm, that, you know, the glow that we all want, then you actually want to layer on the diamond glow powder. So just to see what happens, we're gonna try it with a little bit of Illuminati diamond glow powder right on top. These new diamond luxe powders are almost like a base for the original Diamond Glow. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that and pop that into the inner corner as well. And I kinda like to bring it up too, just to have everything blend together. Ooh, can I blind you or what? Okay. Um, anyway, so for blush, we're gonna pop a little bit of this new Zoeva Premiere blush palette. It's actually a really cute collection. They were inspired by um, like 20s, like the Flapper Girls. Look how cute this is. I think the packaging is so cute. I love anything 20s, honestly. So I'm gonna take this shade over here. It's called Fame and Fortune. It's a really pretty shade, actually. So I'm gonna smile a little bit. Zoeva products are so pigmented too, like their eyeshadows, their blushes. That's so pretty. I feel like it goes so nicely with the eyes. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes with the same transitional shades that we use on the top. So all those browns, Necessary, Churro, and Cheens. You guys know I always like to do my bottom mascara. It really does depend on your eye shape, but I personally like it. Like I feel like it opens up my eyes. I feel like we need just a little bit more bronzer. Maybe that one was a little too light. I did have this one as well, the Lorac Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder. I don't think that I've ever used this. If I have, then it was probably like a really, really long time ago. So we can try this one out too. This one doesn't look too dark either though, but it looks like it has a really beautiful undertone. So let's hope for the best here, you guys. Oh, I can't get over the highlight though. Like how beautiful is that? The highlighter is everything. That little combo. Yes, Mac Daddy, you do you. By the way, I just want to say congratulations to Mac Daddy and Desi and Katie and Anna and any of the brands that I've mentioned because I mean, y'all are killing it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I get so wrapped up in trying to make the products work that I forget to say stuff like that, but just know that, you know, I mean it. <laughs> yes. Okay, honestly guys, I really feel like the undertones today are, are really working for us. Really working for us. <gasps> oh my God, you guys, I almost forgot to use this product that I am so excited about once again. So this is the um, Matte Cosmetics Golden Bronze Pigment. Look how beautiful it looks. Like I feel like it's just gonna be the most beautiful shine. So I wanted to try this out too. I mean, I, I know I already put the um, Artist Couture, you know, highlighter on, but maybe we'll do like an all over glow and maybe a little on the 
Decollete, really spicing it up here. Glow, baby glow. Is it decollete or decolletage? I literally never know. I feel like I've asked that in almost every video that I've ever filmed that I've mentioned it. <sighs> Say lovey. Yo, honestly, this would look so beautiful in photos. Like I can just already tell it's gonna have that like flash glow. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and now this is a little bit of a bougie item, but thought it would be interesting, honestly, because this is a ink lip liner. So I looked at it when I got it um, out of the box and it actually looks like a marker. I kind of want to try it for myself. Figured this was the perfect time to do so. So this is the Rouge Dior ink lip liner and I'm using the shade 325. It's kind of like a deep nude. I feel like I don't really know how to feel about this. It's kind of cool in the sense where like you're gonna get very precise lines and not get that like almost bleeding that some crayons give. But would I continue to use this and not reach for like my normal lip pencils? I don't know. I wish I had time to, you know, leave this on and see how it would wear, but it is currently 12.39 in the morning. So <laughs> after this, I'm pretty much just gonna take it off. Then I'm gonna reach into the uh, Dose of Colors Desi Katie PR box. Ah! <laughs> and um, I think I might try this guy out. This is my main liquid velvet. Honestly, all the shades of the lip colors look so beautiful like really really nice neutral colors but this is something that would go with so many different looks oh my god it's like the perfect medium nude Ooh, this formula yes it's very velvety velvety is the right word should i pop on a little bit of a gloss these are the two glosses over here that come in the collection so they did bring back over the top which was in the first collaboration this is the over the top shade, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Uh, <laughs> but they brought that one back, so obviously I have tried this one out. Um, and then this is called The Most. So those are the two lipstick or lip gloss shades now. I think I might try The Most just because it's new and I feel like it. <laughs> oh my God, that is so pretty. It has like a really nice purpley shimmer to it. And then I just really quickly want to show you guys the rest of the shades of the collection just because I feel like the lip products are honestly banging. So those were the two glosses. There are two new lipsticks to the collection. So this one is called Aftermath. It's almost like a terracotta brown, I would say. Ooh, smooth as butter too. Then we have Hey Girl. Hey girl, hey. That's what I used to say in high school a lot. That was like my catchphrase was like, hey girl, hey. <laughs> okay, so this is Hey Girl. More of a pink undertone there. Then we've got um, a mauve story, which is the other liquid velvet lip product. So let me just swatch my main right next to a mauve story so you guys can see the difference. Not gonna lie, my main is definitely more of like a me color just cause I love these sort of like brown undertone, rosy nudes. Um, I definitely could see myself wearing that a lot actually. This is the most, it has a really beautiful purple sheen to it. And then of course you guys know over the top, which is a gold sparkly sheer gloss, super duper pretty. So those are the lips that come inside of the collection. I feel like the tones are there, you know, they're there. Obviously you've already seen the palette, but there are two highlighters inside of the collection as well. So they brought back um, Fuego, which is this sort of like champagne -y shade. This is actually one of my favorites, but there's also a new highlighter in our lives. So this is Chasing the Sun. And this one has more of a bronze, like a deeper bronze to it. Whew. Do you see that? And then this is Fuego. So that is the comparison. You can see that Chasing the Sun, the newer highlight, is just a little bit more golden and a little bit warmer. Really, really pretty. I'm actually very excited to try that one out. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys, ooh, I hope you guys like this video. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you did like it and stay tuned for more videos. I'm actually gonna film a video tomorrow doing a full face of drugstore under $10 dollars dollar. so stay tuned for that. I do like to do a mix of like higher end and drugstore products on my channel just so I get, you know, cover all the bases, if you know what I mean. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe right down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.